Alright, so this will be a quick overview of the SOC Exoskeleton version 2.0. I'm just going to run through the features real quick and show you what this little thing's got in it. So the first thing that's a big change from version 1 is that the speakers are removable. Obviously, so you don't have to buy a $7 or $10 set of speakers every time you want to change revisions uh, to the new ones. Also, there are now project plates. There are two project plates, so you can actually put in, say, a Raspberry Pi Zero and an Arduino project, something along those lines, uh, and those just kind of clip into place. And then you have your SOC socket of choice over here, where this one is using an Odroid XU4. Uh, you can also use the Odroid C2. You can also use the Raspberry Pi 2, the Raspberry Pi 3. Pretty sure it'll uh, fit the uh, Raspberry Pi original model. Uh, the, the screw holes should all be basically the same. It also fits the upboard. Uh, the first model, the new model that's coming out, is, is significantly larger than the Raspberry Pi. So, so far it will not fit. I may put something together for that in the future. Uh, this is also running the uh, uh, View 7 touchscreen, uh, also made by Odroid. And I've got everything just basically being powered internally here on the new battery system, which is a RAV power battery. Uh, it is one of their Max Power series batteries, and I will have the details in the build there so you can get yourself one of those. Uh, one of the main things to remember about this battery is that these three ports are of different amperage. The first port closest to the charge port over here is a 1 amp, or 1.1 amp. Uh, the second port in the middle here is a 2.1 amp, and this final port on the end is a 2.4 amp. Uh, and this is a 26,800 milliamp hour battery. Um, that 2.4 amp gives us enough power to both power our SOC, uh, and then the 2.1 powers our screen. The 1.1 is powering our speakers. Average battery life on here is anywhere between six to nine hours. If you turn the screen off and put it into basically standby mode and leave the SOC on, uh, you can easily double that. I have had them go 12 or 14 hours before I just got tired of waiting. Uh, and went to sleep, but um, it, it had more power in it. There were still two bars on the battery. It could easily have gone longer. Uh, it is also designed for both of the RE keyboards. This is the 2.4 gigahertz model with a rounded edge, and this is the Bluetooth model, which has a flat edge. And as you can kind of see here, there is a rounded edge there, and there is a flat edge on the other unit. Uh, it has a pocketed cup in both sides so that the keyboard basically just clips into place and stays locked to the unit until you take your fingernails and just kind of pop it out. And then you can replace that with the Bluetooth keyboard, which is my preference, um, just because it is more responsive and seems to pair more quickly and more stably than the RE 2.4 GHz. Uh, which seems to drop its connection every once in a while and force you to turn it off and then back on. The Bluetooth keyboard, much better in my opinion. Um, again, the new battery has this thing working great for a very long time. I've had it playing music for nine hours uh, at a time, no problem, um, with the screen turned on. So let's take a look at the new GL Shim. This is the Odroid Game Station Turbo image from Maverick on the Odroid forums. Uh, you can add his repositories and you can use his image. Uh, and I guarantee you will you will find some more success than trying to do this from a base mate 1604. Um, he has already done a lot of the work for you. You can set this up for all of your emulation station and arcade needs. You can also set it up for, uh, as you can see, your Arduino IDE in case you want to do Arduino projects and actually do some design work uh, with the dev top here, which I have already done. There are some projects already loaded here. Uh, my first basic program that I ever wrote in Arduino was written on this little guy. Uh, and then also I have a multi-button program in here for another project. And it isn't the fastest starting thing in the world, but it does work. And it works quite well once you actually get it open. And you are ready to rock. You have a full coding environment. You can plug it into your Nano. You can code and test right here, all in one little bitty environment that's portable. Uh, and you can take this with you on the road. You can take this with you to classrooms. Um, very, very easily. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the gaming looks like on it. Again, this is GL Shim. This is basically a in interpreted command set for OpenGL. Um, so it does not run perfectly and you do not get all of the visual effects 
but you get the basic gist of it. All the lighting effects are not 100% perfect, uh, but it is quite fast and it is very playable. And as you can see, the frame rates are very acceptable on the XU4. Obviously, on a touchpad, I'm not going to be able to do very much in the way of gaming, but we just kind of want to walk around, take a look at the frame rate, take a look and see what kind, what lighting effects are still there, which ones are missing. It's kind of just a general shading. You don't really have any of the complex lighting effects, um, but it it's still it does work quite well. It still looks pretty pretty good, uh, and it's fast, fast enough to play games on and enjoy it on the go. All right, so. That is that. Let's take a look at Neverball here. This is another GL Shim game that has been basically interpreted. And you will notice when we pick up the coins, the coin animation is missing. There's usually an animation there that shows you when you pick up the coins, and it's almost like uh, little fireworks or sparks that come from the coins and you'll see that the GL Shim libraries don't present every little detail um, when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, uh, but you get the idea. Let's take a, and, and the speed of it is just kind of insane. You would expect this speed out of a, you know, quad-core laptop, and it, it definitely does the job. I've been very impressed with the Maverick's image here. And you can start it out in either desktop mode or you can start it out in a full emulation mode. Um, I have also started using guys. Um, this is a 8-bit do and I got this off of Amazon. This is a Bluetooth controller that you can actually store inside your unit and just take it with you on the go so that you have a Bluetooth controller to link up to the unit. I don't actually have it linked up now um, but we'll go ahead and show you this game as well just to give you a, a better idea of some of the effects it can simulate. You'll notice the fire effect uh, as this game was kind of written for the GL Shim, works very well, and it leaves the trails and the smoke and whatnot, and it looks pretty good. It's very fast, very fluid. We've got to be getting over 60 on, on pretty much most of these games, I would have to say. Um, they, they definitely get it done. And the, the uh, Odroid SOC here does a very good job of staying cool. Uh, there's not a very high temperature going on here, and again, we can run this thing for hours and hours and hours, and I have even managed to find a way to shim Clementine, so that once you open Clementine and GL shim, of course it throws an error in display, but it does actually open it, uh, and then once you get it open, we can show you what the visualizations look like. So, we've got some music going now. And this was working perfect before and of course it's not going to work for me now. But you get the idea. We've got our visualization uh, equalizer down here, visualization for the equalizer. But very responsive. Audio is very nice. It goes up really high. Um, we can actually crank the audio. You'll see uh, when I hit the function key that the audio is way down low. We had it barely turned up. Uh, YouTube and every bit of flash is working in this build. I, I definitely recommend checking out Maverick's latest build and printing yourself out one of these uh, little uh, SOC dev tops. It's, it's pretty cool. Thank you.